Hello, this is Bunting. Today we break down some massive subtronic style basses using Vital. As always, all the bass presets I've made here, plus this entire project file, are posted on the Patreon, which is a cool place to thank me for the cool vids. Also, like, comment, sub. So, let's start off with these growly guys. Like these. They're all very similar. And to make this, we have our initialized patch of vital with just the saw wave, right? Here's our saw wave. And we add this disperser to it. It's already very familiar. Now, Subtronic usually uses the kilohertz disperser, but you can make one stock just by macroing a whole bunch of EQ3. Or you can download this rack for free in my 10K sample pack on my site. So now that our boy is plenty moist, we can add some movement and fatness to it. Filters are great for movement. If you like to wobble, you can LFO it. You can also use a high pass for a bit more growly effect. Wow. That's all cool, but for more tonality, we can put it on this low pass, crank the resonance, and then we'll just distort it a whole bunch here with our hard clip, hard clip. And that's fun. For some different tones, you can switch the different modes. I found digital, just super clean sounding for this. And there, you have a few different basses right there. For a bit more fatness to it, I like this chorus on freeze and just turn these down so it's a little cleaner. And then a little less on the mix. Just a bit of stereo and some tonality. And of course, our multiband compressor. That can release up. And we lost some of the moisture in the process, but we could just duplicate this to restore it. You could even tweak it here. As for post-processing, what Subtronic does a lot is he just G-clips the heck out of everything. This is a free plugin. And it's just hard clipping. You can make it a little softer with that, but it's up to you. This also ties into how he gets his mix and master so ridiculously loud. He just designs sounds that are clipping or work well with clipping. And if you want a little more sauce out of it, we can at, we'll get the at, okay? Like the mouth down. And if you want it super wide, wider is another free plugin for that. But you hear variations of this kind of wet, growly, distorted bass and a lot of subtronic stuff. And it all starts with the same basis. So that was in concept. Let's see it in practice here. So here's this first bass and it's gonna like crash my computer if I keep these dispersers on to show the patch. But you see, pretty much what I showed, except I added this second filter, routing filter one through it, just so we have this slight kind of attack opening on it, which reacts kind of interesting with the disperser too. I also had this sub bass layered just to get a clean, consistent sub pushing through. And also, it kind of gives you a bit more fatness when you clip it at the end. Yeah. And for this other bass here, they're the same, except I just changed the resonance to get two different tones out of it. And with the squish on, sounds like it should. So beautiful. Now for this sustained guy down here, right? I went very extra with the dispersers. I had a grand total of four from that insane. In the vital patch though, it's pretty much the same. In fact, it might even sound better without dispersers. But I just bent this pitch wheel down. Well, bend the pitch, give it that dragged out, awesome gnarly effect. So now for the bass you actually want to know. Oh my gosh, he's so moist. Same stuff on the post. It's all just dispersers, clip stuff, whatever. But what I did in the patch to give it more vocal movement is I didn't use this low pass, right? I used a high pass with a bit of resonance and this LFO. Quite nice. And it reacts really well with the dispersers. 
Then to get it a bit different, a bit more interesting, I just layered this clicky robot wavetable. Any wavetable will do. I just like the texture and fatness of that one. And under the effects, I like this phaser, frozen and mono. Just it uh tones in that mid range a little more and gives it a bit more fat and vocally feel. And of course, I have this low pass filter opening in tandem which just adds the vocal movement, reels it in, and disperser is moist enough. As you can tell, this one technique, you hear it all over Subtronic stuff, and there's so much variation you can get through it. Now, for these more metallic-y basses, like here, 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 these. These generally come from a bunch of these kind of feedback resonant effects. So look, I can add them all back. Kind of start off with just a basic shape sine wave, just for a basis for the FM we'll introduce. You can have this just init, up 12, an octave, and we can add this kind of movement. You can have more FM tones just from repeating that, but then to oscillator three, right? But all the metallic-iness, chorus, we can have it frozen some feedback and just mess with all these times you nice stereo and nice tones to work with this delay is also feedbacky you can tune it that's pretty cool if it's on the second mode you can get really precise with the tone you're hitting for for the further of this effect uh, any of these cone filters will do a great job for that just the resonance and how you tune it can give you so many different tones and then boof it all together with the distortion for more metallic we can add more kind of and of course we just band it out didn't like it but for this cool little reverb throw i just have this reverb with the uh, mix automating up the fun time. So get some FM tones and then feedback them to heck. Okay. Now we break down these weird and wonderful siren bases. Post doesn't do a whole lot. But in the past for these type of bases, you'll find we could just get any waveform and then we can FM it. But that's not that interesting. But if we pitch it down a bunch, Especially with a sine wave. What's happening is you're hearing, well, what's FM? It's kind of modulating the frequency. When we get it so low, pretty much just pitch bending it super fast. And we can get sine waves through here. We can get any shape we want for different stuff. And you can even just get the harmonic series just to do that. Maybe you can get a little different with uh, another FM. Okay, that's that's fun. Okay. But yeah, that's the gist of it. Just low pitch FM gets it that warble sireny sound. And effect wise, you could just chorus it. Why not distort it? You want it just slammed and not nice to ears. Multiband. I don't know. You see, it can get kind of gross in the low end, though, with the distortion and processing. So just do yourself a favor and scoop that. And it hurts slightly less, but like in a better way, maybe. Disperser didn't even do much. I just was having fun throwing on everything. So I'm evil for that. Now, this isn't a bass, but it's a sound he likes to use. It's these kind of leads. He has catchy melodies going with. And for these leads, we could just start off with uh, saw wave, or any wave really. I pitch it up just so it was a little higher. You can get it really plucky, use a lot of plucky sounds, but where's the beef? Okay, it's super plucky, but we can have more tail on it just by using stuff like the flanger. Freeze it, feedback it. You can also just kind of chorus that too. Get delay it to flip it. You 
he just likes that feedback stuff. And you could shape the envelope differently. And just get all sorts of different tones from these different delays. And you could put the tiniest bit of reverb on it for that sense of space. As for the actual melodies, you know, kind of play around the chord outlined by your root note. A rhythmic, catchy fashion. Just do it. Hope this made sense. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave those in the comments. And if you liked the vid, drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out a bunch. And once again, all these presets I've made here, plus the entire project file, is posted on the Patreon. And if you want to further extend your support, there's more stuff to check out at buntingmusic.com. All the stuff here. And on top of all that, if you want to join an online community of bass producers, I started a Discord here. I've also trying to get this uh, Facebook group rolling and a little subreddit. A lot to manage, but there are links in the description. Okay, read it. On that note, peace out. Live a bountiful life full of bangers, I guess. Much love.